Despite the fact that the oceans cover 70% of the planet's surface, we've only begun to tap them directly as an energy source. But these marine powerhouses may one day unlock the door to clean, limitless energy. Hydroelectric power was the great renewable energy source of the 20th century. And it will continue to provide gigawatts of power. But with most of the world's rivers already dammed, the future of hydropower will come from the sea. Of the various technologies to capture the ocean's energy, a tidal barrage is the closest in design to traditional hydropower. The barrage is essentially a dam, collecting water from high tide until there's sufficient potential energy for power generation then forcing the water through turbines when released during low tide. The world's largest and oldest tidal barrage at Laurence, France, began producing power in 1966. Today, it still powers 240,000 homes. A more recent technology known as tidal stream power uses propeller-like turbines to capture the kinetic energy of underwater currents. And that's one that we could do in all manner of places because the tidal flow, of course, takes place everywhere on Earth. And harvesting those could be done quite well and doesn't even have to be at the surface. The issue, though, is that the marine environment's pretty tough to deal with. There's corrosion, parts being banged back and forth. Often the cost of managing those in terms of repairs can be quite large. But we're seeing new work on that. Much of the work is taking place in the British Isles where companies such as marine current turbines are thinking big, sinking massive pilings into the ocean floor, and letting the turbines do their work. And the amount of energy you get out of a turbine is proportional directly to the density of the fluid that flows back and forth. And so a water turbine has several hundred times the power of, a wa of an air turbine. Wave power is an even newer technology. Yet it may hold the most promise of all, since wave power can be captured anywhere on the ocean. In this design, a 450-foot chain of pipes, connected by hinged joints, sits semi-submerged on the ocean. Each motion of the waves is resisted by hydraulic rams located in the hinges. This action pumps high-pressure oil through hydraulic motors, which drive electrical generators. Electrical transmission lines also keep the floating power plant tethered to the ocean floor. A Scottish company, Ocean Power Delivery, has installed a successful 2.5 megawatt wave farm off the coast of Portugal. A wave farm occupying less than a half a square mile of ocean would generate 30 megawatts of power, or enough for 20,000 British homes. 472 square miles of ocean could power each of the United Kingdom's 24 and a half million households. Each region of the Earth has its own renewable sources, from the vast wind potential of North Dakota to the solar mother load that waits in the Sahara. When you put them all together, one thing becomes clear. Renewable energy offers a global solution to global problems. We honestly have the potential now to think about flipping things from being a fossil fuel driven economy with little bits of renewables to being a renewable energy driven economy with fossil fuels filling in the background. And that's a world that really no one thought possible only a decade or two ago. The technology works, but a renewable future also requires political will and a new way of thinking in which a farm harvests wind, a harvest yields fuel, and a rooftop becomes a power plant.